I think it is a unique opportunity for India for multiple reasons. There are three transitions and there are moving geopolitical situations. From the transitions point of view, the first is digital and AI, second one is energy, third one is supply chain. In all the three transitions, I would say that India is probably the best place country in the world. First, on the digital, just two primary reasons. First, there is no country in the world which has demonstrated a large-scale digital intervention and digital platform for public services delivery, which is transformative at scale. I think, you know, everyone who has had lived abroad in any country or has done business anywhere, whether it is the UPA, whether it is the Aadhaar, whether it is Jandan Yojana, I mean, you can go on and on. The second thing on the digital side is, it's no secret that we have the best talent available from a digital point of view for the future. And the scale and the depth that India has, again, is unparalleled. You can add all the talent that's available from next 10 countries, still they will fall short. So these two are big tailwinds. To take the energy transition, India is probably the only country in the world which have to, which has to achieve the energy transition purely only accounting for growth. Most other people, whatever be the country you take, their energy transition to renewable or new energy, what have you, has to be substitution. Shutting down what is working and then, but whereas in India, if whatever be the doubling, tripling, whatever is the GDP number you take by 2047, the needs of growth that we have between now and 2047 or 2050 is at least three times more than what we have. And all of this will be new energy. And we will do renewables, we will, we will do wind, we will do solar, we will do SMR, we will do 10 other technologies. And that is a unique opportunity because with growth, you can fix anything. Priority should be growth, growth, growth. And when you do something for growth, you are not so much uh, under stress like when you do it for substitution. The third thing, whether you call it uh, this country fix, that country fix, doesn't matter. To my mind, the global supply chain is going to be rebuilt and it is being rebuilt as we speak. It is not that it is going to happen, it is beginning, it is happening, we are in the middle of that. Sometimes you don't realize when something is happening. You always connect the dots backwards. And any supply chain is an ecosystem play. So I keep referring as India Plus. I never use any other example of saying that we are replacing somebody. We are not replacing anyone. We have an opportunity to create a global alternative supply chain base, which I call it as India Plus, because India can't do it alone. But just the sheer size, scale, and everything else that we have positions India to be the lead in this alternative supply chain. Somebody else cannot take the lead. It has to be India, and India is taking that lead and the supply chain will get built over the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. But above all of this, there is one fundamental factor, which is, I have to say this, under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, what has fundamentally changed is the belief and the aspiration of every Indian and every sector. You can feel it in the urban, you can feel it in the rural, 
You can feel it in poor people, rich people, educated, uneducated. It is there everywhere. As a country, we had the audacity in the middle of the COVID. When every other nation was going after Pfizer and Moderna. Which normally we would have done. How to find the money, run health skelter to see how to get Moderna, Pfizer or which country we can import from. Instead of all that to say that we'll build our own vaccine in the middle of a crisis. There is something to be said about that. So this whole make in India, I mean, honestly, if you ask all of us in this room, we will recognize this make in India started as a campaign, a slogan. So everybody thought it will be a slogan. The slogan became a movement. Movement became a belief. Now we are in the execution phase. So there is no question it is going to happen. So I really believe that we should give ourselves the chance. And we have to make bets. We have to take risks. 